Hi, this is Ali, and I wanted to just take a few minutes to show you how the Avatar Controller, a free tool offered by Reillusion on the Marketplace, actually works. After you download it, you'll find it in your props. Simply double-click on it to add it to your stage, and you can also select the window option so that you're able to move the controller around. Now the controller has options for managing specific facial parts. In this case, I've shown you how we've just moved the eyeball around and the eyelid. Now we're moving over to the brow and you can see that we can control the brow simply by using the controller. Now we're selecting the ear and we can manage the ear as well. And lastly, we have a selection for other which lists any other items in this case, mustache and nose. So you can see that we can control those other items by selecting other. Nose and mustache are both moving. Now we also have the option of deselecting one or the other so that we can control just the one thing. Here I've deselected the nose and I'm controlling just the mustache. Now some of the facial features have been pre-programmed in the expression. So when you click on expression and you use the controller, anything that's been added to the expression will animate. In this case, I've left the eyes out because the eyes are something you want to animate a little more precisely, in my opinion. Okay, now we're going to actually record the motions. So you'll notice that I had eye selected, I've pressed the red record button, press the space bar, and then animate your eyes. When you're finished recording, press the space bar again. Now you need to record the eyelid and the eyeball separately. So you go back to frame one, press record, press space bar, and now you can animate the eyeball. Okay, let's see how that looks. There you can see that the uh, eyeballs are moving and the eyelids are moving a little. Now we've selected brow and we've pressed the record button, space bar, and we're going to record some brow movement. Go back to frame one, select ears, press record, space bar, and we'll record some ear movement. And then lastly, we're going to select, we're going to deselect the nose and just animate the mustache. Again, press record, go back to frame one, press the space bar when you're finished. Okay, now we're going to add some standard animation. And I'll start by adding uh, facial animation and selecting the face puppet. And I'll pick. Uh, Chuck and maybe I'll try I'm not sure if I'm trying angry or whatever you can s preview what that's going to look like try a couple until you find one that you like that sets the mood in this case I want his mouth to open a bit more so Okay, 
So now we're going to actually record the motion. So now we can see the individual facial parts that we've animated along with the facial animation give it much more realism. Lastly, we're going to add a regular motion to the character. Okay, so I'm trying to make him look a little bit angry. I'm not sure that one is the right choice. Maybe I'll try another one. Also, I should add that in the eyes you can add auto blink, and I think maybe I forgot to do that here. But it is in some of the earlier demos. There, now he seems much more animated, and he's showing a lot more emotion. And there you have it. Very easy to use.